What's going on, my motherfucking Virgos? It's your good sis, Lava the Empress. And for those who are new to my channel, I give that spiritual tea, sweetie. We about to see what's going on in your life right now, what kind of advice I can give to you at this time. And also, the main focus of this video is to see what is it that you have to look forward to coming towards you in the near future or whatever the case may be. We're going to get into your love and career and see what's going on with that. And stick around for the ending because I might pull a channel message. I might roll some dice or pull a charm for you. Whatever it is that I'm called to do. Without further ado, let's get right into it, Virgos. And see what is the energy for you right now. What is the energy for my Virgos? What is your energy right now? Show me Virgos' energy. Yeah, Virgo, your energy is making sure you are focused. Wow. <laughs> Making sure that you are focused on that coin. Your energy is getting to that bag, okay? I feel like a new opportunity will be heading your way. Um, you're focused on your stability as well, your foundation. That is your main focus. That is your energy. Worrying about your financial wealth, your health, um, and actually going towards what it is that makes you financially stable, we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which lets me know that somebody could be coming towards you with an opportunity. You may be hearing back from a job soon that you've um, applied to uh, long before that's reopening up. You may also have an, a, just a new opportunity coming your way, I'm seeing here, but the focus and your energy is really going towards that bag and getting to that money, okay, and letting that be you know what you're doing to make sure your stability is straight let's see what's going on with your career right now even though i feel like I, that's more career wise but also you're very money focused so let's see how that's doing what's going on with virgo career show me one card for virgo career it gives me two and oh my motherfucking god what I just did a video, um, who did I do? Pisces, they got this exact same thing for career. Like the exact same duo, that's crazy, and I just shuffled. So you guys don't know what the fuck is coming <laughs> towards your way neither. I feel like whatever this opportunity is that's gonna give you that financial stability, it may be coming from somebody, or it may be coming from a job opportunity that you just didn't expect to happen for you, but Wherever this is, opportunities are coming your way and you just don't see it coming. I do see a lot of, make sure you watch your communication when if you already have a job, whatever the case may be, make sure you watch your communication. Um, people may not understand where you're coming from or, you know, you just can't tell your plans to everybody and they have a way of trying to mentally trap you. Maybe you feel mentally tra trapped, like, I don't know how I'm going to get this money, but I'm going to get it. That's the energy I feel for my um, Virgos. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know where it's going to come from. I don't know when it's going to come, but I'm going to do it. I, I have, for some of you, it's like literally from eight weeks to eight months, you're going to have this whole financial thing turn around for you. Okay? But maybe right now you just don't know which path to take. You're confused. You're mentally confused. Let's see what's going on in love for my Virgo. Ooh. What's going on in love for my Virgo right now is that, like I said, you're not stable yet, probably financially, or you're trying to get there. And so therefore, because that's your main focus right now, um, maybe you have a way of just being too money hungry that you're not allowing love to be stable right now. Something is not stable when it comes to love. I feel like you are very defensive with this seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you have a defensive energy right now, Virgo, and you're not really interested in um, love at the moment because you're really focused on your finance. Maybe a lot of people hurt you, and it's like I'm getting like from either six to five people didn't hurt your ass in the past and i'm seeing like you put this wall up okay and you're being defensive and you're like you know what the only one that's gonna come in my space now is the person that deserve it so maybe uh, people around you you are aware that 
the people or the people I said the people or the people the people you affiliate yourself with is not uh, people that should be in your energy and so maybe you are just in this defensive mode whatever the case may be I feel like when it comes to love you have a wall up there's a boundary or several set and it's a little unstable okay because right now you are really focused on your finances let's see what's going on and what is it that you have to look forward to what is it that my virgos have to look forward to there it is virgo and you could have been dealing with somebody that has taurus in their chart i forgot to mention taurus virgo capricorn in their chart um or sagittarius um, but Virgo, what's, what you have to look forward to is balance, being able to balance all of this shit. Because when there's money coming, I know you're going to be fulfilled in that, but you're going to want love as well. So being able to find that balance between love and money and life and work, whatever the case may be. Being able to test the waters as well, knowing a path. I mean, not knowing what path you're going to take, but being able to... Um, test the waters and see if that's right for you or not instead of just staying stagnant and mentally confused waiting for something to happen okay i do see like um it's just as simple as that balance is coming your way but there is a need to, for you to be a little patient okay yeah because maybe you've been in that regretful energy of things not working maybe you guys could have been dealing with the pisces or somebody with pisces in their chart virgo but I do see like, um, yeah, just focusing on the bad. You probably used to focus on the shit that wasn't working out for you. But I do see like balance is coming in for you. Okay. So that's always good to hear. Let's get some more messages from my Pisces. Let's see what it is that you need to know. What is it that my Pisces got looking for? I said Pisces. Wow. I am so sorry. You could definitely be dealing with the Pisces though. But um, Virgo. It's, you, your readings are a lot alike, you and Pisces, so I'm sorry, Virgo, that was real disrespectful, <laughs> but let's see, what is, that's why no cards came out, alright, now I'm done, but that's why no cards came out, because there is like, wait, what, <laughs> but anyway, Virgo, let's see, what is it that you have to look for, so there you go, Virgo, what is it that you have? To look for it so I feel like that's it oh I had it backwards no yeah I did honeymoon so maybe you guys are going to be able to finally travel something you've always wanted to do or maybe you'll just be maybe around the holiday time I'm saying Christmas time things can change drastically for you um or Thanksgiving time, but I do see a lot of travel here or wanting to move or relocate. I do see like you just living in the moment here. So that's what you have to look forward to. We also have love yourself first. So there's going to be a lot of self-love and self-healing for you. That's what's going to create that balance for you. Um, but playfulness here as well. Learning how to be playful with yourself and others, not taking things so serious. Okay, but there's a need for you to love yourself first. Okay, love yourself and be lighthearted. Don't be so serious. Love yourself. This doesn't have to be a drastic or serious transformation for you. Um, the journey is what you make it. So if you want balance and you want to be more fun, get in that energy of being more playful and just loving yourself first. And that's how you will naturally attract the things that you want in your life by becoming those things um, or embracing those sides of you. So let's see what else we have here for my um, Virgos. Let's see. What else do we have for my Virgos? What else do my Virgos have to look forward to or what they need to know? Yeah. The situation will improve, Virgo. 
So you don't have to worry too much about anything. Maybe you feel like, I don't know, like I said, that energy of not knowing how it's coming or when it's coming or how much is coming. Just know the situation will improve as long as you go with the flow with things and continue to be on your path and finding that, you know, light within yourself, going on your own solo journey and loving yourself throughout the process. Things will definitely happen for you. Um, yeah, so we have reconsider here. Something that you may need to reconsider. Maybe you need to really sit down and contemplate and think what path you want to be on or who needs to be in your life and who you're taking with you and who you're leaving behind. Maybe this just needs to be a time where you sit and think about your plans, okay? Because if you believe... Hold on. Oh, wow. So we have if you believe here. If you believe... me things can really happen for you you can actually make all of this shit happen if you really believe you can so there's a need for you to have that trust within yourself spirit is saying i'm sorry i'm having a hard time picking these cards up spirit is saying remain positive virgo okay you may be a little unstable now and that's why balance is on its way to you if that's what you have to look forward to but remain positive because this shit is going to be what the very thing that you've been looking for. So there's a need for you to wait. Don't make no impulsive decisions. Actually take time with yourself. Understand that this journey and this process cannot be rushed. No matter how many times you want to rush it or whatever. It can't be rushed. You just got to allow divine timing to, you know, work. And then we have meditation brings answers. So there's a need for you to ground yourself. I feel like this there's this energy of you not being grounded. The King of Pencil Pentacles is all about being grounded. So there's a need for you to ground yourself and understand what it is that you want. Maybe you need to pray about it. Okay? Meditation brings answers. Maybe you need to ask your God, your divine, your angels about what it is that you really want to do and what will make you happy and how can you move forward into doing so. Yeah, I'm going to pull a green message for you guys. I'm hearing in a charm, so I'm going to pull a green message in a charm for my Virgo. Okay. Let's see. What does Spirit has to say? If they told you no in the past, it was because they didn't understand you. Communicate clearly and let them know who you are. So spirit is just saying that maybe this um, energy of not knowing what you want to do or what's going to happen or whatever, maybe that's stemming from your own personal doubts of if you can even achieve what it is that first comes to mind when you feel like, you know, this is what I want to do. Maybe you're feeling a little doubtful, like you can't achieve it or whatever. Spirit is saying, like, if you, even if you did it in the past and it didn't work for you, but it was your passion, get back into that again. If they told you no, it was because they didn't understand you. Maybe you didn't effectively do it right. Do it right this time or get, try to get more knowledge on what it is that you're trying to do here. So that's what I'm saying. Like, basically what I get from this message also is don't let the naysayers stop you. Like, yeah, they told you no. But that's because they wasn't hip to the game of who the fuck you are. So sometimes you got to step in that p position or that energy of letting people know who the fuck you are. So that is what I'm getting for my Virgos. If this reading resonated with you, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't do me grimy or slimy. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know how it resonates because I'm nosy like that. Okay? It's your good sis, Lava the Empress, and I will be seeing you in your next video. Bye, Virgo.